Today, I'll talk about something truly out of this world. The Jetor T2, the Stargazer Special Edition. Man, just saying its name feels like you're going on an interstellar journey, right? But it's not just about looks. This car is packed with tech, and some features seem game-changing. But is it that good? And what are the downsides? Will it challenge the Defender on its field? I'm already hooked on the idea of this car, but let's not be overexcited here and see what the real deal is. So, this is Jetta Auto's latest drop, a special edition of its flagship SUV, the T2. It's been developed by former Porsche designer Hakan Sarakoglu. Jetta conquers the US market now with this rugged crossover, but it's already made waves in China since last year. This edition is a Jetta Maker's Kingdom, or JMK, product limited to 3,000 units. So, what's the deal with the Stargazer compared to the standard T2? Obviously, JMK has drawn inspiration for the Stargazer from the iconic Defender. Many exterior enhancements, a revamped front bumper, an integrated bull bar set the tone, while additional LED lights on the grille add better nighttime visibility. The package includes flared fender extensions, side steps, taillight covers, and 20-inch alloys in all-terrain tires. The SUV sports a roof rack with an integrated ladder and an external storage compartment, just like the Defender's utilitarian vibe. The body kit is complete with ribs and corrugated surfaces and screams ruggedness. However, the absence of a snorkel suggests its off-roading capabilities might have limits. Speaking of construction, the Jet or T2 boasts a monocoque body. It's reinforced with high-strength steel and laser-wielding technology, further strengthened by eight stiffening ribs. The T2 remains a crossover SUV at the heart, despite its rugged appearance. It features an all-wheel drive system courtesy of BogWarner, similar to the Tank 300 City's AWD system. Dimension-wise, the T2 measures 4,785mm in length with a wheelbase of 2,800mm. It offers a substantial trunk volume of 1,494 litres, with the second row seats folded down. The Stargazer is available in various colours, allowing for a personal touch. While the aesthetic and functional upgrades are commendable, the appearance might overshadow practical considerations for some. The monocoque design is sturdy, of course, but may not match with the hardcore off-roader's expectations for extreme terrains. But I still respect the ambition to fuse style with function. Both appeal to a broad audience and seek an SUV that stands out. Jumping inside, you're met with an interior that echoes the standard T2 Traveler, but with a twist in the color schemes and materials. The dashboard is minimalist, defined by prominent vertical side ventilation blocks. The steering wheel adopts an unconventional flattened shape, which might not be to everyone's taste, but certainly sets it apart. Technology-wise, the T2 Stargazer is equipped with a 10.25-inch digital dashboard and a sizable 15.6-inch multimedia tablet powered by a Calcom Snapdragon 8155 chip. This setup ensures smooth operation and compatibility with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Plus, voice control features. Do you really need such a large screen? You tell me. Seating surfaces blend leather and Alcantara and offer a choice between three color schemes. This allows for personalization, though the combinations might not appeal to all preferences. The flat floor in the second row and the numerous small item storage options are practical touches, enhancing passenger comfort and vehicle utility. The cabin offers dual-zone climate control with an air ionization system and an effective CN95 filter, promising a clean and comfortable environment inside the car. While these features add to the vehicle's appeal, the overall experience of luxury and comfort can vary based on individual expectations and comparisons with other vehicles in the same segment. The monocoque body is reinforced with high-strength steel and laser welding technology, further strengthened by eight stiffening ribs. The Stargazer tries to pack a punch in the tech and features department, and for the most part, it's hitting the mark. But as with anything, it's a mixed bag. So, ground clearance is at 220mm, solid for a crossover. It won't climb Everest, but it'll handle a good chunk of off-road fun without bottoming out. The approach and exit angles are 28 degrees and can handle water up to 700mm deep. For a crossover, that's pretty respectable. Under the hood, it's sporting a 2.0-litre turbocharged petrol engine, cranking out 254 horsepower and a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It gets a bit conflicting here. There's no manual downshift. For some, that's a deal-breaker, especially if you like that extra control over your ride. But it makes up for it with an all-wheel drive system that includes a multi-plate clutch on the rear axle, an electronically controlled locking rear differential, and seven driving modes. If you're looking for more options, in China, there's a 1.5-litre turbo engine available knocking out 184 horsepower. 
And for the 2.0-litre engine models, you've got an 8-speed automatic transmission as an alternative, adding some versatility to the lineup. The T2 is primarily front-wheel driven, with the rear wheels kicking in automatically when needed. This setup aims for efficiency, but still keeps a foot in the door for off-road capability, especially with that locking rear differential in the mix. Tech-wise, the T2 Stargazer is pretty well stocked. It's got lane-keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring. These are becoming standard fare in many cars, but it's still nice to see them included, offering more peace of mind on the road. The Stargazer is packing a 2.0-litre turbocharged engine under the hood, which is pretty standard fare, but the output catches your eye, 254 PS, which translates to about the same in horsepower and a torque of 390 Nm. That's not bad at all for an SUV in its class. The 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission is paired with a good choice. It provides that nice balance between performance and efficiency, and the four-wheel drive system is just icing on the cake for those who like a bit of adventure or simply want the added traction in slippery conditions. Now, handling and ride quality are areas where the T2 shines. Whether dodging potholes in the city or hitting the highway for a weekend getaway, it promises a smooth ride. The advanced suspension tech is a boon, especially on less than perfect roads. It ensures that the ride remains stable and comfortable for everyone inside. The kicker here is the strength test. Imagine, this thing was dropped into a rocky abyss, more like an action movie scene rather than something you'd expect in real car testing. But hey, it came out the other side untouched. That's an excellent testament to its build quality and durability, not something every car can boast about. Depending on the configuration, the features list includes a heads-up display, panoramic roof, surround view cameras, adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping systems. Despite being a crossover, it can handle challenging road conditions, such as steep inclines. According to official data, the T2 can conquer slopes with an inclination of up to 45 degrees without exerting excessive strain, all thanks to the fully automatic intelligent XWD all-wheel drive system. There are six driving modes – economical, standard, sport, snow, mud, sand and rock. Additionally, there's an X-mode that intelligently adapts to road conditions, ensuring optimal driving performance at all times. All parameters are customizable to your preferences. Simply press the button and the system will automatically select the appropriate driving mode. The four-spoke steering wheel features a flat top and bottom, providing a modern and ergonomic feel. The compact 10.25-inch virtual instrument cluster provides essential driving information while maintaining a sleek appearance. Dominating the sensor console touchscreen is powered by a robust Snapdragon 8155 processor, which ensures swift responsiveness, eliminating any concerns about lag. There's a powerful 50-watt wireless phone charging system equipped with cooling, so staying connected on the go is effortless. The substantial, user-friendly electronic gear shift lever aligns with the T2's rugged off-road positioning. The buttons for rapid access to driving modes, air conditioning, and the panoramic view system are conveniently positioned near the gear lever. The wide-shaped seats are upholstered in a suede-like material, offering comfort and support, and the seatbacks feature the distinctive JT logo. The front seats have ventilation and heating options, ensuring comfort in various weather conditions. The spacious rear seats offer two recline settings for passenger comfort during long journeys. Approximately 50 storage compartments cater to practical needs, and the two-zone climate control system includes an air ionization feature. Practical hooks for luggage and two cup holders on the rear door add convenience for extended trips or fishing excursions. So, here's the deal with the Stargazer. It's positioned in a pretty competitive market, sandwiched between the luxury behemoths and the more budget-friendly rides. Regarding pricing, we're looking at around 40,000 US dollars, roughly 36,000 euros or 280,000 yuan. It's a fine line between premium features without the wallet-emptying price tag of some of its high-flying rivals. Now, when you pit the Stargazer against the competition, things get interesting. At this price point, it's nudging elbows with some of the established players like the Honda CRV or the Toyota RAV4 in the global market, and maybe even rubbing shoulders with some entry level luxury SUVs. But the Stargazer tries to go ahead with its features and off road capabilities. Only a few in its price bracket can boast the kind of tech and toughness this bad boy brings to the party. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While it offers a lot of car for the money, potential buyers might pause at the brand's relative newcomer status in some markets. Plus, how does it maintain long-term reliability and resale value compared to its more established rivals? So, if you're considering the Stargazer, it's a bit like betting on the underdog. It's got a lot to prove, but it's also got a lot to offer. 
It boils down to whether you're willing to take a chance on something a bit different or stick with the tried and true. Either way, it's shaping up to be an exciting tussle in the SUV market. So, what's my verdict? I say, give it a try. What about you? Feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss the top content I send your way.